नेक्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट दैट वी हैव टू डू इज सम ऑफ नंबर्स फॉर्म्ड बाय डिजिट सो सम ऑफ द नंबर्स फॉर्म्ड बाय एन नॉन जीरो डिजिट इज गिवन बाय सम ऑफ द डिजिट्स राइट एट द डिजिट्स व्हिच आर गिवन एन इज नंबर ऑफ डिजिट्स एन इज हियर नंबर ऑफ डिजिट्स व्हिच आर देयर विद यू राइट दैट इज एन माइनस वन फैक्टोरियल एंड टेन रेस्ट टू पावर एन माइनस वन अपॉन टेन माइनस वन I could tell you the proof of this, uh, but uh, I believe that we are running really very short of time for the proofs. I'll just skip it for the time. Though I have kept a page to uh, make sure that I did the proof, but uh, let's skip it for the time being. So it says find the uh, sum of all. Uh, let's correct this. This is not five. This is four, right? This is sum of all four-digit numbers that can be formed using digits. Uh, two, three, four, five. So using two, three, four, five, you will have how many digits? You will have four factorial numbers, right? You want the sum of sum of all sixteen. Oh, sorry, not uh, sixteen. All twenty-four numbers. This is the target. Sum of all twenty-four numbers. So the formula says sum of digits. Sum of digits, right? Which is here two plus three plus four plus five, right? Then it says n two multiplied by n minus one factorial. So n minus one factorial. N is here. How many terms are there? The letters are there or digits are there? Four. So it becomes three factorial, right? N two ten raised to power n minus one by ten minus one. This is how you solve. So there is nothing but ten raised to power four minus one by Nine. This is the answer we are looking for. So if you just simply solve this particular part, you will get your answer. So this is nine, this is twelve, and this is fourteen. So fourteen into six into ten raised to power nine minus one by nine is your answer to this particular problem, right? Clear? Let's apply this in a different question. So it says find the sum of all numbers greater than ten thousand found by using digits zero to Four, six, eight, with no digit being repeated, right? So the same, but the problem. See what is the problem here? So there are five digits in total. If I see here, right? Five digits. You want to find numbers which are greater than ten thousand, and obviously, if you start from two, you will have numbers which are greater than ten thousand because it's a five-digit number that you will form. So if I directly start applying the formula here, the sum of all of them would be what? Zero plus two plus uh, four plus six plus eight into four factorial into ten raised to power five minus one by nine. This would be the answer. But there is a problem here. What is the problem? Can you tell? Yes, some of you have started thinking on it. Problem is we have taken zero also. So for zero, there would be some numbers where zero will come in the beginning. Zero will come in the Beginning, right? And if zero comes in the beginning, then it will, this implies it will be a four-digit number, right? It will be a four-digit number. So this sum actually has these numbers also, which are four-digit because zero you have included. So this answer contains your answers, which are numbers which are less than ten thousand. Also, they are they are also being added into this sum. So you want to remove them. So what we will do here? So So we want to subtract those cases, right? Now you understand we want to subtract those cases. So just find some of these cases. So some of these cases, right, which we want to subtract would be four-digit numbers. So they are what four-digit numbers? So four-digit numbers will be formed using two, four, six, eight. So what will be their sum? So there some would be add them two plus four plus six plus eight into yes. Now the value of n is not five; it is four, and this will become ten raised to power four minus one by nine. And you want to subtract these, so the answer to this particular problem will be equal to. So just add them up. What this will become? Ten twenty, right? Ten and twenty. Twenty I can take common. Four factorial into Ten raised to power five minus one by nine minus three factorial into ten raised to power four minus one by nine. So this is the answer we are looking for. And this is how you solve sum when zero can be in the first position. Apply the formula, subtract those cases which have been added extra to it. 